Addressable television through the set-top box definitely has scale. It has for a number of years. OTT is the next progression. So what we're seeing now is a huge shift in television, and the biggest shift is the definition of TV. So TV no longer means a family sitting around watching the television set. People are watching TV however and whenever they want. So our job as marketers is to find them and connect with them and make sure we're sending relevant messages to those households. So for the last you know five years, as OTT has entered the marketplace and now ramping up with some significant scale, there hasn't been an opportunity to target. It's really been just broad, broad buys. Now with OTT, we're able to do the same targeting that we can do with you know, household level addressable. So I know if you're in market for a car, I know if you are a switcher in the soup category, and we can send messages to those devices the same way we did through the set-top box. So let's talk about attribution for a minute. How does that work, or how is it different from the set-top box, or is it the same? I mean, it's, it's, it's the same. So, you know, we want to get the most relevant message in front of the most relevant household in the way that they want to watch television, they want to consume TV content. From an attribution standpoint, we're able to work with the same companies, so KBM and Newstar, Axiom, Experian, and what they have is they have these gigantic data spines of 100 million households, and we know these households, we know your television, we know your mobile device, we know your IP address, and we're able to deliver the same targeting and attribution that we have with Set Top Box Addressable for the last five years. Cool. And you guys deal with the buy side with marketers every day. What are some, what's their interests or concerns or challenges or where does it stand in terms of their committing budgets to OTT? So I, I mean, I think it, we're, we're early days for OTT just because the targeting layer just started. But as a marketer, you have to pay attention to OTT because that's the way the audiences are shifting. Um, I think that you know what's broken right now in television is that we're not measuring TV viewing across all these different screens. And I think once that happens, marketers will be more and more comfortable shifting dollars into OTT. But you know, everyone knows that the eyeballs are there. So without the measurement, perfect. Um, it still makes sense, and advertisers are still focusing on OTT. I mean, you have to with the generation of, you know, cord nevers and cord cutters and people experimenting with different ways to get content. Uh, marketers need to get in the OTT game. So where do we have to go in terms of measurement? We hear, you know, efforts around Nielsen comps. We hear different industry cross-screen measurement, but it's not there yet, or what's the, where, where so, is the stand? Yeah, I mean, I think, like, personally, that the gold standard for measurement is addressable television, right? So addressable television, if you think about it, it's a 100% viewable impression. There's no bot sitting in your living room, there's no fraud. Like, an advertiser is getting what they pay for. Um, if an ad runs for a consecutive eight seconds, that's an impression. If someone fast forwards, it's not an impression. If a box sits, you know, idle for two hours and no one touches the remote, that's not an impression. So that's 100% viewable. People People have the opportunity to view it. I just hope that when we go move into OTT addressable that we're able to maintain that same level of an impression because it is so valuable in this world of fraud and advertisers worried that they're not getting what they're pay paying for. This is a way to deliver a targeted message against households and you know that they're actually the, the right people are seeing the ad. What do we need to uh, as an industry to ensure this growth continues over the next few years and beyond? What where do things go and what do we need to do? I mean, I think that everyone needs to really start embracing technology. Um, I think TV was slow to embrace technology and in order to move the industry forward, like we need to be able to understand unduplicated reach and frequency across screens, be able to plan frequency levels across all these different screens and advertisers need to understand like the right frequency against all the different messages. So I think that like embracing the technology is important, but I also think that as we deploy technology, especially in TV, we can't just take a digital tech and apply it to television because it's different. Um, so we need to like sort of have a level set and, and make, all, make sure that all the technologies are talking um, and it's a way that's going to advance the marketplace forward.